The Stephen Spender Prize is a poetry translation prize which is open to absolutely everyone, no matter what your language skills. To enter the prize, you must enter a poem that has been translated out of any language into English, and with it, you will have to submit a short commentary of 300 words or under about how you translated your poem. If you're encouraging your child or a child that you know or who is under your care to enter the Stevens Vendor Prize, there are three categories for under 18s. They are 14 and under, 16 and under or 18 and under. And if you'd like to submit a poem yourself, you can also enter the adults category, the open category. There is also a special prize in 2020, which is the Polish Spotlight Prize for poetry translations out of Polish into English. The prize is eternal fame and glory of being one of the Stephen Spender Prize winners. But you also get cash prizes. So for any of the under uh, 18 categories, uh, each winner gets £200. The winner of the open adult category gets £1,000. Everyone who wins within their category gets published in the Stephen Spender Prize booklet. And there's also an award ceremony in London once we're allowed out of our houses again. <laughs> The Stephen Spender Prize understands that not all children are great avid readers of poetry, so they have created a definition of poetry for the purposes of the prize that is broad and also includes rap lyrics and slam poetry. The way that your child can find a poem to translate into English um, it depends on what, how interested they are in poetry and also on their personal circumstances. So, for example, if at home you speak another language and you as their carer or their parent um, know poetry with, that's, that's in that original language, then you can encourage them, give them books that you may have or go online and, and share the process together. If you are from, if you're a family that is not full of linguists and doesn't have a second language spoken at home, then your child can still look online and find find um, lots and lots of examples of poetry written in other languages from fantastic resources online, like the Poetry Foundation, for example, Modern Poetry in Translation. It's absolutely fine for them to translate for the purposes of the prize, a poem that has been translated before. Finally, if, you're, if your child really can't find anything online on, off, off their own back, or if you can't find anything together, then the prize has also created a poetry bank, and that's on the Stephen Spender website. And there you will find in various languages poems that we recommend that your children take a look at, either to get inspired or to translate to submit their translation to the prize. Your child or the child you're encouraging to enter the Stevens Vendor Trust does not need to speak the language that they're translating out of fluently or even proficiently. This is because we're really looking for the quality of the final English product. So we want them to find the poet within once they've done the initial task, which is to find the words, uh, the meanings of the words in the original poem using a dictionary and getting that a tricky and quite dull and slow process out which is the word for word first draft translation. After that they're going to go through a much more creative process of looking at why the poem that they've chosen comes across as it does, creates the atmosphere that it does, provokes the feelings that it does. And what we're looking for are poetry translations that create those same atmospheres, those same feelings in us as the English readers of them. child or children and absolutely love writing poetry, then the Stephen Spender Prize can be a fantastic introduction to a new kind of creative writing, of poetry writing for them. Because what we're really looking for is the finished product. It's We want to see a little piece of the poet inside of them in their final product. This is not just a copying or mimetic activity. If you translate a poem word for word, then we are almost certain that the product is not going to be evocative. It's not going to be beautifully written. It's not really going to be poetry. Um, so that's where a child who is already interested in poetry will have um, a fantastic opportunity to, to um, develop that skill.
if your child is not crazy about poetry but is quite keen on languages then this is also a fantastic opportunity for them to see how language learning again is is has many different uses and could be a, a real tool to learn how to communicate better both in the language that they're learning at school but also in English. Uh, it's a fantastic opportunity to look closely at the way languages work and how they make us feel uh, and how our use of language can make other people feel. So it's really um, it's a really broad uh, uh, really broad competition for for various different um, heads and kinds of um, creative creatures so um, if your child especially likes creative writing but not poetry it's also um, a potentially really uh, interesting opportunity for them because poetry translation translation of any kind um, is great for children who like writing like reading but who say things like well I don't really have an imagination or I don't I don't ever think up what a story, my, uh, my, what the idea for a story, I never have any ideas. When translation, the ideas are really provided for you, it's all there, you never face the blank page. So this might be a great opportunity for um, avid readers, but who still don't have the confidence or who don't naturally come to story writing. The poem that your child or children submit to the Stephen Spender Prize has to be their own work, but you can absolutely help them along the way, and we really actively encourage you to do so. And it doesn't matter at all if you don't speak the language that they're translating out of. Um, ways to help would be to perhaps look at their first draft once they've done the um, word for word dictionary work of finding the um, literal meanings of the words that in the original poem and translating them in the second one and uh, encouraging them with questions such as and how does the poem make you feel and why did you choose this poem those kinds of questions that you ask them are going to provide them with the um, focus points for their second translation so for example if you ask them why did you choose this poem then they're going to explain to you the, the feelings maybe or the or the themes that appeal to them and those are the themes and the feelings that they're going to try and transmit into their second draft so you will be helping your children with their poetry translations just by talking to them about them um, there are also online resources that you can encourage them to use so um, just be on hand and give them a hand look at rhymezone.com together and um, help them look and see whether or not they're going to be able to produce a poem with rhyme it's absolutely not necessary and the judges make a point of saying that your that rhyme is very hard to produce in translation because what you often lose then is meaning or closeness to the meaning um, but if for example your child is really really keen to try to um, produce a poetry translation with rhyme then sit with them have a laugh see what works see what doesn't um, I hope that the process is uh, is a kind of enjoyable one for everyone involved. A commentary is a very short piece of writing which will be judged on the content, not on the style, which explains to the judges of the prize how your child got to the translation that they did. So for example, we want to hear a three examples of difficult decisions that they had to make in order to create the poem that they did to translate it in the way that they did so they might tell us for example about a choice to not use rhyme in their translation if there was rhyme in the original um, and explain how they came to that decision the maximum word length is 300 words and as i say for under 18s all of those categories have to offer a commentary which gives us three difficult decisions that they had to make in order to come up with their poetry translation. Your child or you with your child can submit their poetry translations um, online using an online form on the Stephen Spender website and that is stephen-spender.org. On the website you will also find lots and lots of how-to videos, uh, other written materials as well as the poetry bank to be able to find a poem. Um, the submission entry form is very straightforward and with that form you will have to enter the poetry translation, the original poem, the commentary of no more than 300 words, 
Um, and there's also a rule that the submitted translation cannot be more than 60 lines long, so it can be an extract of a longer poem. Your children are allowed to submit as many poems as they like. Uh, we really, really hope that you will encourage your children to enter the prize this year, whether or not they are fluent in a language, budding linguists, reluctant linguists, creative writing um, addicts, or um, anything in between. Very good luck, and we're looking forward to read your poems soon.